I'm Jensen Troy and I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about my dorm experience at SRU. So just a little background on the dorm situation at Slippery Rock. We have the communal dorms, which is sharing like a bathroom, shower. That is going to be our options in North Hall and Rhodes Hall, which is on one end of campus near Old Main. And then the more newer dorms are going to be dorms A, B, D, E, and F, and our honors dorm, Watson. There are many different styles of rooms to choose from. You could have a four-person suite, a two-person suite, or you can just have the normal two people in one room sharing a bathroom. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience today. I was placed in Building D originally in just a normal traditional dorm and I actually emailed the housing office to see if I could maybe get a dorm that I preferred more which was the two single studio dorm. So they actually hooked me up and did that for me and my roommate. But that was great and I ended up being placed in building F. So that was the downfall, I guess, to me changing, but I ended up loving it and I'll tell you why later. So I'm going to talk about how I found my roommate. So I did not want a room with anyone I went to high school with. Um, everybody from my high school goes to Slippery Rock and I just wanted to meet new people. So I actually joined a Facebook group called Slippery Rock University Class of 2023. So everybody got on there, wrote like a little bio about themselves and that was kind of how everybody met their roommate. I highly recommend um, discussing with your roommate beforehand what each of you guys are going to bring because there's no sense in both of you bringing two of each of everything. Um, that's just going to create way more clutter than you guys need. Move-in day rolled around in August and we were ready to roll. So me, my mom, and my dad um, drove to Slippery Rock with all my stuff in our car and we pulled in in front of Building F and all these people were here to help be like, wow, like the week of welcome volunteers. Um, they like got to work immediately. They were taking all my stuff and putting it in these like big rollable bins. Um, it was like so easy. They were just like efficiently moving everything and we put it all in the elevator and took it up to my room. So that is when I met my roommate. Um, then we both started unpacking our stuff and getting everything situated. It'll take probably like a week or two for you and your roommate to completely get everything where you want it. But overall, everything went super smoothly on move-in day and SRU volunteers were definitely a huge help in making that happen. So after that, you have the week of welcome, which is a week where freshmen basically have all these events and everything to go to to meet new people. So my roommate and I went to like all of those events. Um, it was super fun and I'm really glad that Slippery Rock has that option. I actually, because I live so close, I was debating on not living on campus and so many people told me just to take the leap and do it and um, I'm so glad I did because now I have my best friends who I am still friends with today because they live down the hall from me. We met through seeing each other through the halls and literally just became best friends and those are the people that I still hang out with almost every day to this day. If you do end up living in Building F, I highly suggest that you get very familiar with the bus schedule, because especially during winter, because you are not going to want to walk in the winter. I'm a junior now and I have lived on campus my freshman year, so I moved in in August of 2019. and. Then I commuted my sophomore year, and now I have my apartment. So I've done a little bit of everything, and I can honestly say that I completely loved the dorm experience. Thought it was so fun. My CA was amazing, which is a community assistant, so kind of like 
the upperclassmen in charge of the floor. Um, everything was so great. Our floor was so fun. We all hung out all the time. Um, and it's probably the easiest way to make friends your freshman year is by living in close quarters with people. So one thing I recommend is to keep your door open the first week of school. Keep your door open, say hello to people, strike up a conversation, exchange Snapchats. Um, that's how they're gonna make your friends and you never know, those people might still be your friends your junior year of college. Overall, I'm so happy with my dorm experience. Um, even though it got cut short because of COVID, those are memories that are priceless. I couldn't have asked for a better semester and a half of my freshman year, and I am so grateful that I made the decision to not commute and to live on campus. So, if you're watching this, I hope that you come to SRU. I hope that you choose the right dorm for you. Um, like I said, go to Slipper Rock's website. You can look at all the different options. That's what I did. Don't be afraid to just strike up a conversation and talk to people because you never know what sort of friendships could come out of it. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye. <laughs> at Slippery Rock. Oh, jeez. Each. Oh my gosh.